Good Monday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We're getting ready for a day we need to be weather aware because we do have the risk for strong and severe storms. And again, these will not be widespread. Let me emphasize this. These are going to be more of the isolated storms, but the ones that could get going today are going to be really, really strong. We have an interesting setup uh, in the atmosphere. We typically don't see this type of setup in the summertime. It's more something we see in the spring, early spring in particular. So we've got summer heat and humidity combined with that upper level energy, wind shear, and what we call lapse rates, which basically means the air is really cool and dry above our heads compared to the surface. That's going to lead to a huge risk of hail today. Now, this morning we have some clusters of showers and storms. A dying thunderstorm complex came through. That pretty much capped everything. It's going to stabilize things. So things will not get going until late this afternoon after four or five o'clock. So early today, you're going to be fine. Middle of the day should be fine as well. But as we get into the afternoon hours, that's when we'll see the risk for severe storms. Let me turn off the radar and satellite and you can see our risk right there. I'll highlight the wider risk and then I'll kind of show you the close in view. You can see pretty much everybody's in this area of orange or red. The mountains, you're kind of on the back side of this low. So kind of that medium to higher risk. And again, um, you know, this is definitely potentially a pretty significant risk for this time of year. Typically, we see more isolated pulse storms. Sometimes you get deratios in the summer that can give you these kind of risks, but this is kind of an interesting setup. It's more of a severe weather kind of a supercell setup. Here's a look at the outlook for the impact. So hail is a high risk today, not because there's going to be a ton of hail, but the hail that does develop could be big. So we call that a significant risk. So it's a 15% chance of hail within 25 miles of any point on the map, but the hail that develops could be up to two inches in diameter. So golf ball, they're larger. That's typically the kind that, that produces damage to roofs and cars. Here's a look at the outlooks kind of all together. You can see the tornado risk is low. It's not zero, but it's it's low comparatively. Um, the hash mark in, in orange, that means significant, even though it's a moderate. Moderate is kind of telling you the coverage. So the coverage is 15%, but where it does develop, it could be significant. And then you see the, the higher risk for winds, especially for our eastern counties, central and eastern North Carolina. Those are the areas that we're most concerned about this afternoon. So let's get into the future cast. All right, so obviously this, this morning we have kind of a dying line of showers and storms. Those are gonna fall apart. Middle of the day, sun comes out, bakes everything up. This is why it's gonna be a severe weather day. We could be close to the low 90s today with uh, dew points in the 70s, upper 60s. That's going to yield a lot of thunderstorm fuel, really high cape, we call it. So by three o'clock, we could start to see the beginnings of some pop-up storms, but I think it's really four o'clock. And notice the coverage, just I mean, not everybody's going to see this today, but if you're under these, in particular, these cells, that, <coughs> excuse me, that develop just along or south of I-40, these are likely to be supercells. Supercells are small cells that are really tall with rotating updrafts. Now, yes, Rotating updrafts, people think tornado. In this case, the tornado setup isn't as strong as you might think because the cloud bases will be really tall, which means it would be more difficult for tornadoes to occur. But doesn't mean if one of these storms should turn to the right a little bit, it could produce a tornado real quickly. But supercells also do another thing. They drive warm, humid air high into the sky, tap into that cold, dry air that's above our heads today, produces monster hailstones. So when you look at the reflectivity cores on this, these bright colors, that's not heavy rain. I mean, there is heavy rain in there, trust me, but those are hail cores. That's an indication that the guidance or the modeling is trying to tell you there's big icy cores. We've got some ice in there. And again, this is the time. Look at the time. Five, six, seven o'clock. Those could be some monster hailstones coming through, maybe up to the size of golf balls pushing off to the east. So potentially a pretty significant hail day for the Carolinas, but you can see there's not a ton of storms. I'll loop this a couple times, it's 18 hours. You could see how they're pretty isolated. So this is what I mean, not everybody's gonna get these monster hailstones, but if you're under them, heads up. Now, east where the, the higher risk of severe weather is, look what happens, this line, or these storms become more of a line and become bowing out. That's why the, the wind risk is still pretty high. And again, overall, the tornado risk is low, but it's not zero. So let's go back show you that risk one more time. There's our wind, hail, and tornado risk. Very important. That risk for, you know, for hail is probably the highest I've seen in a while around here. So that's why we have it in the high range. And overall, the risk is medium to high. So stay weather aware today. We'll post updates throughout the afternoon. You've got time. This really won't happen until late afternoon or evening. These won't be normal storms today. So be prepared for some strong storms.